In this tutorial, we'll see callback plugins in Ansible. Callback plugins allows user to customize and extend Ansible's default behavior. You can use callback plugins to provide additional console output. For example, if you want to get the time information of the playbook or task, there is a built-in callback plugin available. You can use that. And if you want to format the content displayed in the std out during the playbook run, for example, if you want to convert the std out to JSON format, there is a plugin available for that. And if you want to connect with an external tool or services and send notification about playbook result, we can use callback plugin. In the later videos, we'll see how to send a Slack notification from Ansible using a callback plugin. And callback plugins can be controlled from ansible.cfg file. There are three types of callback plugins available, aggregate, std out, and notifications. Aggregate provides additional console output. If you want to get the total time taken by the playbook in the playbook stats, we can use ansible.posix.timer. And if you want to print the time information of each task or the playbook, we can use profile underscore task. And std out formats the content displayed. If you want to convert the entire std out data into json format we can use ansible.posix.json and if you want to get the minimal information in the std out we can use dense and notification callback sends the playbook status to an external service later we'll see one example of sending slack notification from ansible now we'll go to the documentation of the callback plugin callback plugins enable adding new behaviors to Ansible when responding to the event and by default callback plugins control most of the output you see when running the command line program in Ansible there is a callback plugin called default available by default that controls the playbook execution but we can use callback plugin to add additional output or integrate with third party tools and most callbacks shipped with Ansible are disabled by default and need to be enabled in your ansible.cfg file we'll see that as well there is a key called callbacks underscore enabled by default this will be commented we'll see how to add the plugins in this list and there is another key called std out callback within std out callback you can activate only one plugin at a time we'll see this also with an example now we'll go to the index of callback plugins here also we can see the types of callback plugins available aggregate notification and std out let me open the documentation of one of the callback plugin i'll open timer and this callback just adds total play duration to the play stats and in each callback plugin documentation you can see what type of plugin it is so this is an aggregate callback this adds additional information in the playbook output i'll go to the list again and i'll open even profile underscore task plugin this will add timing information of individual task and overall execution first we'll try to enable these two aggregate callbacks i'll go to vs code i'll be using this particular directory for the demonstration and I already have a playbook available here. This I have copied from one of the previous example, strategies demo. Here we are just waiting for a timeout value. And this value is coming from inventory. For each host, we have a variable called add delay. We'll be running on all these three nodes. After that, we are just printing inventory host name. First, we'll see how to get all the available callback plugins. I'll check the Ansible version, Ansible hyphen, community hyphen hyphen version. I'm using community version 9.2.0. I'll give Ansible hyphen doc hyphen t space callback hyphen l. So by default, all these callback plugins are available in the community version. First, we'll try running this without 
enabling any callback plugin. I will give Ansible playbook and 01. So this is waiting for two seconds for each post and this is just printing the output and I am using this particular ansible.config file and here I have already mapped the inventory file we can see the inventory file here now we'll add the callback plugin here I'll go to config file search for the key callbacks underscore enabled and by default this is commented I'll uncomment this and first we'll add just the name of the plugin so we'll run it again now if you notice here this is adding one additional data so it is saying playbook run took two seconds so it is coming from this particular callback plugin and instead of this we can even give the fqcn of the plugin i'll open the documentation i'll copy this paste it here and we'll run it again we'll get the same data again and it is always recommended to use the fqcn of the plugins and now we'll try adding even profile task i'll copy this go to vs code we can add multiple aggregate plugins here i'll put that also here now we'll run so here now if you notice this is even adding the time information of each task in the end we can see the time it is taken for add delay task it has taken 2.78 seconds and for print host name it is taken only 0 0.08 seconds in this way we can use aggregate callback plugin and now we'll see how to use std out callback we'll go to the documentation in the index i'll open this particular plugin so this will print the output in json format and here itself we can see this plugin is a std out callback and you can use only one callback at a time if it is a std out callback and we can even pass the additional parameters within the defaults but first we'll try without the parameters when we use slack plugin we'll see how to use the parameters i'll go to config file and i'll search for std out underscore callback and by default it is using default plugin and in the documentation also we can see the default plugin ansible dot built in dot default it is using this particular plugin we will try to change this to json i will uncomment this we will give json here or we can even give the fqcn and at a time we can give only one std out callback let us run this now if you notice the entire std out is coming in a json format now if you want we can even comment the previously enabled aggregate callbacks i'll comment this and now we'll see how to use the dense std out callback here instead of json i'll change to dense 
I'll go to the documentation. And dense will print minimal HDD out data. We'll run the playbook. Now, if you notice, this is not giving the complete output. It is just quickly running within single line. In this way, we can use aggregate and std out callback plugins. And in the next tutorial, we'll see how to use the Slack plugin. And remember, this is different from community.general.slack module. Slack module we use within the task. There we can write a task for sending notifications to the Slack. But here we will see how to use community.general.slack callback plugin.